Welcome to Spotlight. I'm Sue Rakofsky. In just a minute, we'll be speaking with Tara Gould. Today's show is sponsored by Lake Huron Medical Center. Tara, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So tell me who you're with. Um, I am a mail carrier at the Port Huron Post Office. I represent the NALC our local union. Okay, very good. So we have an event coming up in May. It's very important to our community, um, a food drive. Tell me about it. Yeah, so on the second Saturday of every year, I'm sorry, in May, in May. Um, we do our NALC food drive where we ask local residents to leave out non-perishable food items okay. by their mailboxes. And then our mail carriers, as well as volunteers in the area, go around and collect the food and we distribute it to local food pantries. Okay, so vegetables, whatnot, but probably nothing in glass. No, we prefer not glass, um, non-perishable items, a lot of the things that we ask for, I mean, everything is good, sure. but things that they don't get that much of, like proteins, like canned chicken, oh, okay. canned tuna, things like that are good. Well, why did this get started? I mean, I guess it's obvious. It's a need in our community. Well, it's actually the 31st year, oh, wow. and it's a national food drive for all the mail carriers, and they've been doing it, and we've just continued on with it. And this is all over the United States? Yep, the whole United States, okay. all the post offices take what, what do you feel? What do you get out of it personally? Personally, for me, um, you know, when I was growing up, I didn't have a lot of money, and our family did go to food banks and things like that, and it's just nice to be able to help. Like, as mail carriers, we see so much of the areas where people need food and oh, things sure. like that. You can tell when people don't have money. So it just kind of helps when we can help refill the pantries to, you know, if they don't have to buy the groceries and that way they can use some money for electric bills or anything sure, like that. Sure, very, very important. And this all stays local? Yes, it stays local. Um, we use the food depot on 10th Street. Okay. And then um, we also do St. Clair and Yale and places like that out of ours also. And it stays at their churches. And, okay, very good, yeah. very important. And you, like you said, you see a lot of need just from, just from yes. the areas you travel. Yeah, the day-to-day -day routes. So Tara, we might think about giving at Christmas or Thanksgiving or that you know, time of year, but why is now so important to give? Now is actually really important because school's gonna be getting out in the next month or two and all the families, the kids are gonna be home all day. Sure. And so the food is, you know, it's gonna go a lot faster in that. So. Yeah, that makes sense when, yeah. when the kids are home from school in summertime and so good time to give. Yeah, and plus, you know, the shelves are depleted from everything that people gave at Christmas time. It's kind of like that in between year. It kind of averages out the year for the food pantries. Okay, very good. Um, again, May 11th. Yes, May 11th. Um, anytime in the morning, you can set the food out there, and people will be going around till probably like six o'clock, picking up, picking up food and taking it to the food pantries. Okay, I usually put a little bag out right by my, you know, mailbox, and it's it's easy to do and an easy way to give back. Absolutely, okay. we'll be mailing out the postcards in the next week or so here to tell everybody to remind everybody one goes to every house, and then that's all you got to do. You know, it's really easy, a easy way to help, and there's a lot of things that people. Okay, is there anything else you'd like people to know about the food drive or anything that people should know? Um, just that everything stays local. Okay, that's and very important. Yes, it is very important that you know where your money is going to. Everything is local. And like I said, not kind of discouraged against the glass items just because you don't want your donation to get broken and sure. not go to okay. someone in need. Well, we really appreciate your efforts and your, your partnership with the United Way. Tell oh, me absolutely. about that. Oh, absolutely. Um, we work with uh, St. Clair County here in town, United Way. We have Brent Gillette. He helps us tremendously get in touch with people like you okay. to give us the time to get the word out there and everything. All right, so May 11th, get your get your non-perishable yes. food items out by your mailbox. Yes. All right, well, thank you so All much right, for thank joining Thank you so us. much for having me. Of course. All right. And thank you for watching this edition of Spotlight.